This morning, the storms are gone, but there's a path of destruction that will take weeks to clean up. Homes and businesses were shredded when a tornado swept across our area. Today, school is canceled for roughly 25,000 students with Deer Park and Pasadena ISD both closed. Pasadena ISD is reporting damage to at least four of their schools. Later today, representatives with the district will be out checking all of their schools for student safety. And Dave and Kim, they are not the only ones who will be out looking at the damage. That's right. City officials in Pasadena, Baytown and Deer Park are all planning damage surveys. The same goes for the weather service. As Cheetah mentioned, they will have teams out looking to determine the official size and path of the tornado. This is a look at some of that damage from Air 11. Our team tracking the likely path of the twister as it moved northeast across the region. As we wait on those official damage surveys, many people need help this morning. Michelle Choi is live in Pasadena on one of the worst hit neighborhoods. Michelle, what can you tell us? Hey there, Kimberly and Dave. Well, this morning we are live from the Parkgate neighborhood. Several homes in this area were destroyed by the tornado, including this home behind me. Uh, you can see there that it is completely shredded. The homeowners telling us they'll have to rebuild it. But since yesterday evening, I can also tell you a lot of progress has been made in this neighborhood. Mo, if you can kind of pan down the street, all the debris and uh, down trees that were here have since been cleaned up and placed along the curb, as you can see. And and uh, we also see that a lot of homes have plywood and tarp protecting it now. Of course, the cleanup effort is far from over. The storm left behind a path of destruction. We talked to neighbors as they sorted through the debris yesterday. They told us they were just grateful to have made it out alive. We couldn't see anything. It just went white. Everything went white. Explosions were happening. It was terrifying. It really was. It was the most scary thing, you know, in my life. But thank to God that we are here, you know, sound and alive. Yeah, you just saw the destruction there and back out here live. There is still a lot of work to be done, as we mentioned. Amazingly, we're told there were no injuries. Now, keep in mind, a lot of people are still without power this morning, including the folks living in this neighborhood. And with it being so cold, uh, organizations like the uh, Pasadena Salvation Army and the Red Cross have mobilized quickly to help storm victims get back on their feet. Uh, Red Cross, in fact, has opened up a shelter here in Pasadena at the Baker Ripley building at 720 Fairmont Parkway last night. Uh, at last check, I'm told there were about more than a dozen people there already and more are welcome. Back mm -hmm. to you. A lot of people in need of their services this morning. Michelle Choi live in Pasadena for us. Thank you. Well, after the storm cleared, we were able to see just how bad the damage was in southeast Harris County. In Pasadena, a restroom is the only thing still standing at a gym after the tornado ripped through it. The roof was completely torn off and as you can see, insulation littered on the ground there. As we mentioned, the storm also caused a lot of damage in Baytown. A gas line ruptured, sending flames shooting into the air. Crews kept an eye on that until Centerpoint could go there and shut off the gas and cap the line. Several buildings were also damaged and power lines fell on some roadways. Here's a look at the cleanup in southeast Houston. This is Kirk Lane Street near Sagemont. You can see a tree toppled over onto an SUV. Crews also had to block off several streets in the area because of downed power lines. Some of those lines are still down right now, leaving many families in the dark. At one point yesterday, more than 100,000 homes and businesses were without power. Many of those customers have now had the power restored. Here's a live look at the energy outage map. We're still seeing hundreds, hundreds of outages right now. And when it comes to center point, there are about 23,000 customers still without power. Most of those families are around Pasadena and Deer Park. Stephanie Whitfield is live from Pasadena with the latest on the efforts to get the lights back on. Good morning, Stephanie. Good morning. We're at the Pasadena Convention Center where Center Point crews are already staging this morning. About two dozen crews are expected to meet up here and they'll eventually roll out to some of the hardest hit neighborhoods. But we're already seeing some big improvements overnight. Center Point tells us that a transmission feed was damaged yesterday. There were also a lot of power lines knocked down by the storm. And because of that, Center Point reported 70,000 people without power last night. And at last check, that number has dropped to 
to 23,000, and hopefully that'll continue dropping quickly this morning as crews arrive here in the Deer Park and Pasadena area today to start restoration. Now we can see they're already getting an early start out here this morning, and in the meantime, Center Point is just asking people to stay safe and let them know if you see any fallen power lines. Back to you. Hopefully the power is restored soon. Stephanie Whitfield live in Pasadena. Thank you. And it's not just people being affected. Dozens of pets are now displaced after the Pasadena Animal Shelter was destroyed. We are told 70 animals were moved into crates at the adoption center next door. Thankfully, some of those animals were picked up by rescue groups, including the Houston Humane Society. This is video of nearly 30 cats arriving at the HSPCA late last night, but there are still so many many animals that need your help. If you are able to foster a pet, you can email the Pasadena Animal Shelter or some of the other rescue organizations. We have that information on K2U.com. Well, new this morning, we're getting a better idea of the tornado's track. You can see the likely path from near the Gulf Freeway across the Beltway, then Highway 225. And Cheetah, you have a couple different looks at the storm. Yeah, that's right. This is brand new imagery from the GO-16 weather satellite showing the storms as they worked across the area. We've also got Air 11 with a tour of the damage. In Deer Park, we saw roofs ripped off structures and scattered across fields. We got a good look inside a church on Center Street where walls were toppled and the roof peeled back. Right next door, a nursing home had a large section destroyed. An apartment building lost its entire roof and much of the second level. None of the units are inhabitable anymore. A strip center also took a hit. The top of this Little Caesars is half gone, debris covering the parking lot. Many homes were torn apart as well, from chunks of the roof missing to down fences and debris and pools and even a shed destroyed. In the distance, several refineries flaring after losing power, stabilizing their facilities after the storm passed.